Hey, Streetboard family, what's up and what's good? My name is Robin Pickering, and welcome back to Bing, the Dragon Channel. On today's episode, I'll be showing you not one, not two, but three ways you can add extra style and extra grip to your board by adding on some grip tape. Let's go. Before we start adding grip tape to the board, we need to make sure that our plates are clean, the bindings are off, and there's nothing that's gonna contaminate the grip tape. The last thing you want is to get some grease under there, which is gonna make the grip tape peel off or bubble. So start by giving your board and your plate a thorough clean down. The next thing you'll need before we start is a really sharp blade, and this is to cut the grip tape edges when we apply it. So either get a standing knife, a wallpaper scraper blade will do, or just straight up a standing knife blade. Whatever it is, make sure it's really sharp. And kids, if you're underage or you're unsure, please ask your parents before you do this. All right, so now our board's nice and clean and we have our tools, I'll show you how to apply the standard issue Dragon Grip Tape. Already comes pre-cut and it's a no-nonsense solution to getting out and hitting the street straight away. All you have to do, peel off the adhesive on the back and we're gonna stick this in between the plates where your binding holes are. I'll show you. So this is the stuff. It's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is just peel off the back. Nice. And then we're gonna lay it down, making sure we get it right between the holes on the edge of the plate. And just walk your fingers forward, pressing down as we go. You don't want any air bubbles. If you do get an air bubble, just peel it back up and push down as you go. Don't rush it, take your time. If you do go out in, over any of the holes, it's not a problem. We'll just puncture it later on with a screwdriver. And there we go. Give it a bit of a pat. Now you'll notice on this side, where we laid down the grip tape first, it's nice and flush up against the edge. But on this side, there's a bit of grip tape that overhangs the plate. So all we do now, we take our blade, nice and sharp, and we go around the edges to take off that uh, extra excess grip tape. And just cut into it. And this is where you wanna have a really sharp blade because it will go through the grip tape so much more easier. And just follow the profile of the plate until you get it. Okay, sweet. So now our grip tape's down. We just need to cut out a hole in the middle for the kingpin so we can tighten this one up. And to do that, you could use the tying knife again, but I just prefer to use a screwdriver. And then I just feel for where the hole is. You can see there, the grip tape, maybe you can't. You can see the grip tape flexing. And all we're gonna do is just find where the wood is and the hole is there and just puncture it. And there you have it. That will then give you access to your kingpin. And finally, you remember I went over one of the holes here? What I'm gonna do, taking my little screwdriver again, just gonna find where that hole is and just puncture straight through the grip tape. There you go, ready to go. All right guys, that's one way on how you can grip your plates. But if you're looking to take it up to the next level and you want a bit more grip and a bit more style, let's do it. Let's grip the whole plate. Mm. Start off by cutting a slice of grip tape, which is the approximate size of your plate. Don't worry if you get it too big. What you're trying to avoid is any gaps by making it too small. You can just cut off the excess later. That's good. Next, unpeel the adhesive from the grip tape. Before you stick it, just make sure you get it the right way around. And then starting at the back of the plate, we're just gonna Walk it like we did before, hold the top of it up, and as you walk it up, just press into the crease. Make sure you don't get any air bubbles. 
if you find you do get air bubbles, just pull it up, start again. And you can see here, my plate has started to show. So I'm just gonna pull this back up and go again. Just give that a good push down. Where the plate bends up here, really to make sure, run your finger down it. Just make sure it's in that crease. Okay, now we're gonna cut the excess off. So again, we take our knife and we just Follow the profile of the plate and just basically slowly but surely trim off those edges. Okay. Now we have to cut out the kingpin hole. To cut out the holes, I'm going to flip my board over. And with my screwdriver, just going to put my finger on the plate and push through. You'll now see some small holes on the other side. And all you're gonna do is take your screwdriver and push it through the holes you've just made. And there we go. So that's now two ways you know how to put grip tape onto your board, using the standard dragon supplied grip tape and gripping the whole plate itself. But the third and final way that I wanna show you is by far the coolest. And that is, we're gonna do our own personal custom grip tape design. So grab your pen and let's get creative. Now when it comes to creating a custom design, you can do a pretty cool job with just this stuff supplied by Dragon. You can cut it into different shapes and sizes and it'll look dope as hell. But for me today, I'm looking for something with a bit more pop. And so we're going with colors. And in particular, I wanna do a flame design on my board. And that means I'm gonna want the red, the orange and maybe the yellow depending how I feel. But it's really good just to keep a small selection of colors at home. So if you ever want to change up your style, you've got the stuff and you're ready to go. So I'm going to take the script tape and let's get started. On a flat surface, which you're happy to cut with, take a grip tape and spin it over because we're going to draw on the back of it. And to start with, we have to start by marking out the space of our plates. And the easiest way to do that I found taking the Dragon Supply Grip Tape and just lining it up and taking it as a guide. And now we have our areas of drawing. Whatever design you go for, don't forget that whatever you draw on this side is going to be reversed on the other side. So if you're going with letters, you'll have to write your letters backwards so when you stick it on your board, it reads from left to right like normal. I'm going for flames, so it doesn't really matter if this turns out wrong. So let's start by sketching out the flames. And if you make mistakes, don't worry, you can just go and correct it or you can just add pieces as you go to your design. At this point, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that design. I might change it when I start cutting, but for now, I'll leave it like that. I'm gonna put on this glove because when I come to cut, I'm gonna to have to hold this blade quite hard. And I wanna be comfortable. And also, it's really cold in my garage right now. So I'll take my blade and I'll start cutting. And what you want to do at the start is not try to jam the knife in and drag it and cut it in one shot. You're going to have to score it a few times. So just start by just lightly dragging it over. You want to try and to cut the back of the thing. And then when you get through that, you'll feel the grip tape, the sand and the grip. 
against the blade. Don't push down too hard at this point. Still just keep a light pressure on it and just keep trying to re-go over the line you just cut. All right. Just go piece by piece. Don't try and do the whole design in one shot. Just go bit by bit. You can see the paper is starting to come up where I push too hard. Try to avoid that. It's not a deal breaker or anything if it goes wrong. It's just easier to see the lines if you keep the paper in one piece. And just clear the blade of all the garbage that gets stuck to it. You'll also notice that I'm not going to cut perfectly on the lines. And that's because it's really hard to cut curves. I definitely would say that this is a patient man's game. So if you do a really complex design, just be aware it's going to take you a while and you may have to change blades through the design. And don't get annoyed, it's easy to get so frustrated when you, you've done a design you really like and when you start to cut it, you miss the lines, it doesn't look as good. Hey man, don't beat yourself up. I'm not that great at this and I've done this loads of times. The key is to just relax and enjoy it. Okay, this piece is almost ready to come out. So just gently just tease it see where it's sticking and then just try to cut you can put your blade through and just gently run it up and down if your blade starts to blunt at the ends the middle is still perfectly sharp because you've not cut with it so you can just stick the blade through and just try to work with that and this one's almost ready to come out now Try to avoid pulling it where it sticks. Just try to cut it out. If you pull it, you probably might lose the, the sharp points and your design doesn't look quite how you want it to. But there we go. That's the first piece of the flame done. I'll just uh, finish up the rest of this. And there we go. We have the three pieces we've cut out from the grip tape. And we put them together. This is what they look like. I think it's gonna look pretty cool when it's finished. You can see here, like I've nicked the grip tape a little bit. But that's fine. I could tidy it up, but I think I'll just leave it in. It's a bit rough and flames aren't perfect. So yeah, looking good, really happy. So let's get that on the board and see what it looks like. Now a special grip tape deserves a special board. And we're gonna go with the brand new Dragon Team board. And the cool thing about this board is that it has the brand new Dragon Keyless Kingpin system. So we don't have to worry about cutting out a hole in our design or changing how it looks to allow us to take the play off in the future. So let's go ahead and put our grip tape on the board and see how it looks.
All right, that's looking pretty cool, man. So what I wanna do next is I'm gonna add some red grip tape just around the sides here, just to add a little bit of extra detail, some extra licks, and I'm just gonna cut those out of the red grip tape. Okay, there we go. Finished and done. Pretty cool, I think. All right, guys, that's it. That's three ways in which you can keep your board looking as fresh and as cool as you are. Until then, you know what to do. Like and subscribe, stay safe, stay tuned, keep it locked onto Dragon, and I'll see you on the next one.